our trusted easy to use 10 to 15 minutes COVID-19 and through A, B antigen rapid self-test can now be used in your own home on your own time without prescription. This video will show you how to use our COVID-19 and through A, B antigen rapid self-test. Open the kit box, check the components and bring the test extraction buffer to room temperature before use. Before starting the test, carefully read the fully instruction in the box. Preparation before sampling. Get a flat area ready, like a table. Make sure it is clear, clean and dry. Wash your hands with soap and water or hand sanitizer for 20 seconds. Specimen preparation Carefully peel off the foil film of the tube. Place the tube into the hole of the box or the workstation. Remove the swab from the package and make sure you only touch the sticky end of the swab, but not the soft tip of the swab. Slightly tilt your head backwards. Slowly insert the soft tip of the swab into the left nostril about 2.5 cm. Firmly brush against the inside of the nostril, rotate the swab 5 times or more. Repeat the same process in the other nostril using the same swab. Make sure an adequate sample is collected. Now insert the swab into the tube until the soft tip is immersed in the liquid. Rotate the swab at least 8 to 10 times while pressing the swab tip at the bottom and the side of the tube to transfer the biological material from the swab to the liquid. Keep squeezing the tube while remove the swab from the tube. Dispose the swab, you can put it back into its package. And now cover the tube with the cap tightly and insert the tube back into the hole of the box or workstation. Test Procedure Open the sealed pouch and take out the test cassette. Hold the tube vertically upside down over the sample well. Add three drops specimen into the each sample well by gently squeezing the sides of the tube. Then start the timer. Read the results in 10 to 15 minutes. Do not read after 20 minutes. Interpreting the results if the C control line fails to appear, the result is invalid. It is possibly caused by incorrect test execution. What should you do if the test result is invalid? Repeat the test with a new test cassette. If the test results remain invalid, call the customer helpline for further assistance. If only C control line is visible on each result window, Regardless how faint of the C line, the result can be interpreted negative. What should you do if the test result is negative? Continue to comply with all applicable rules regarding contact with others and protective measures. An infection may also be present if the test is negative. If it is suspected, repeat the test after 1 to 2 days as the virus cannot be accurately detected in all phases of an infection. If symptoms persist or unwell, seek medical assistance or consult a medical practitioner for follow-up clinical care. If C control line, T test line in the right window, flu A testing line or flu B testing line in the left window can be visible. The result is positive. There is currently a suspicion of COVID-19 or flu A or flu B infection. What should you do if the test result is positive? For suspicion of COVID-19, follow the guidance from your local state or territory health department. For guidance on confirmation testing if necessary, and if unwell, seek medical assistance. For suspicion of flu A or flu B, individuals with a positive result or who are unwell are advised to consult a medical practitioner for follow-up clinical care. After the testing, all specimens and the used kit has an infectious risk. Discard the waste bag in your household waste, not recycling.